Welcome to our second installment on how to complete module eight. In this short video, we will take a look at how to manage the formula that we will enter for the nested if function that corresponds to the figure on page 486. The figure is 818. It shows the nested if to determine the bonus amount for an employee based on their years of service. If the employee year of service is greater than or equal to 10, their bonus amount will be 500. Otherwise, we need to determine if their years of service was greater than or equal to five, then their bonus amount is 250. And if their years of service is less than five, their bonus amount will be 100. So carefully examine the figure 818 on page 486. When we see the diamond shape, that is where we're making decisions. Excel uses the if function for making decisions. So here we have one if inside another if. This is going to be a little bit more involved than the previous function that we completed. Okay, so let's get started. I've cleared out my N2 formula, but we're looking at the formula from N3 so we can see what it should look like at the end. Let's start by examining that. For the green diamond decision, years of service greater than or equal to 10, so our first if checks was the years of service greater than or equal to 10. If that is true, we're doing the green bonus box by pulling the data value from data tables, fixed cell reference B19, which has a bonus amount of 500. If it is not greater than or equal to 10, the years of service, then we take the false or the else path. And that's where we have to embed another if statement to check, well, maybe they didn't work for us 10 years, but maybe they've worked for us at least five years, in which case they're going to get a bonus of $250. So we check using the if, again, years of service, We'll let Excel type this in a minute. And then we check, is it greater than or equal to five? And if that is true, then we pull the value from data tables, fixed cell reference B18, which has an amount of 250. But if that's not true, then we are pulling the $100 bonus amount from data tables, fixed cell reference, B17. Okay, so looking at this formula that matches figure 818 that shows a picture of the logic. All right, let's get started putting in that formula. I'm going to click on cell N2. I'm going to click on the formula bar insert function. And we are using the if and we'll click on OK, and we get the dialog box. Most of us aren't comfortable typing in these long formulas. So we're going to let Excel do some of the work for us and guide us with these dialog boxes. The logical test is checking those years of service. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit here so we can click on the corresponding cell E2 and let Excel type in the structured reference to years of service. Notice the extra at sign. You'll need to use that in your formula. Greater than or equal to 10. Now, right away to the right, we see it equals false. And that's correct. The years of service for cell E2 was 3.5, which is not greater than or equal to 10. So the result is false. Let's tab into the value if true. 
Now we know it isn't true, but if it were true, we want data tables cell B19. And this corresponds to instruction six on page 487. Now, if it wasn't greater than or equal to 10, as it is here, we need to tab to the false and the value of false is another if. So type if and type an open and a close paren here. Up above, we can see the if that we just typed has a set of red parens. And the original if, that's the closing paren. And right next to the word if is the open paren. Click inside the if on the formula bar, right in between those parens. This will give us a new dialog box for the logic we need to type in for this nested if structure. So now what we're typing in will correspond to the blue diamond and two boxes on figure 818. Our logical test is if the years of service is greater than or equal to five. Again, let Excel do the typing for us. Click on cell E2. Excel types at years of service. We type in greater than or equal to five. We see it's false and that's correct because it's 3.5. Tab to the if value if true. If it were true, we're pulling the data from data tables. Don't forget the single quotes around data tables. Fix cell B18. And we see the appropriate amount shows up here is 250. Hit the tab to advance to value if false. And if the years of service is less than five, we're pulling that value from cell B17 from data tables. So we can type quote data tables. This is a single quote and your fixed cell reference for B17. And notice on the right, uh, it's showing value 100 and underneath we see that second equals 100. So it's showing us the value that's going to show up in cell N2. Up above, we see we have our completed formula. Select OK, go back down. Have a good day.